Welcome to Automotive Reviews TV. Today we're diving into something massive, powerful, and not your usual automobile. This is a full review of the 2025 US Navy aircraft carriers. Their incredible interiors, unmatched performance, and the staggering cost behind these floating fortresses. This isn't just a ship. It's a moving city of war, precision, and technology. The star of our review is the Nimitz class and its successor, the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier. These giants are nuclear powered aircraft carriers that serve as the backbone of US naval power. Let's start by talking about their size. We're looking at ships over 1,090 feet long. That's more than three football fields. And they displace around 100,000 tons when fully loaded. When you stand on the deck, you're standing on what's essentially an airport in the middle of the ocean. Complete with aircraft traffic control, fueling systems, weapons elevators, and aircraft hangars below. Now let's talk about the heart of the ship, the interior. It's not just machinery and steel. Inside, the carrier has everything from navigation control rooms and combat information centers to dining halls, sleeping quarters, gyms, and even a post office. Think of a small, self-contained city that never stops operating. On board nearly. 5,000 sailors, airmen, engineers, and support personnel live and work in a meticulously organized space. It's designed for 24 Shreve, Wissiri, Hiyad, Highville, Severentia, Pool, Nihil, Pool 7 operations during deployments that can last several months. The control rooms themselves are marvels of naval engineering. Inside the bridge, you'll find rows of controls, digital navigation panels, and communication systems. Above the bridge is the Pry Fly, or Primary Flight Control Tower, where the Airbus oversees every takeoff and landing. These operations happen with aircraft like the F-A-18 Super Hornet and the advanced F-35C Lightning II, both capable of launching from the carrier deck in seconds using steam or electromagnetic catapults. Let's shift focus to performance. These carriers are powered by two nuclear reactors, meaning they don't need refueling for over 20 years. They can sail over 30 knots, which is about 35 miles per hour. Impressive for a vessel of this size. They can carry more than 75 aircraft, including fighter jets, helicopters, and early warning planes like the E-2D Hawkeye. The Ford class improves on this with better fuel efficiency, advanced radar systems, and the new electromagnetic aircraft, launch system, or EMAUs, which replaces the older steam catapults. This upgrade allows for smoother, faster, and more efficient aircraft launches with less wear and tear. But these aren't just launch pads, they're war machines. The combat systems include missile defenses, electronic warfare capabilities, and close-in weapon systems to intercept incoming threats. Advanced radar and sonar provide a full-spectrum awareness of the surrounding area. The Ford class especially shines in this department, integrating cutting-edge sensors and control systems to process more targets simultaneously with fewer crew. Now let's talk cost because nothing about these ships is cheap. The USS Gerald R. Ford is estimated at around $13 billion just to build. Add in operating costs, aircraft, weapons, and support, and the total program price goes well north of $30 billion over the lifetime of the ship. Compare that to even the most expensive luxury supercars, and this is in a whole different universe. But then again, you're not just paying for a ship, you're investing in global mobility, unmatched air power, and command presence, even with such costs, the level of efficiency and innovation packed into these vessels is mind-blowing. The new systems on Ford-class carriers require fewer crew members than previous designs, reducing long-term personnel costs and increasing operational readiness. Maintenance time is also cut down significantly due to better systems integration, modular design and upgraded diagnostics. From a visual and experiential standpoint, Walking inside one of these ships is awe-inspiring. The hangar bays stretch endlessly, filled with aircraft undergoing maintenance. The decks are always buzzing with activity, jets launching, sailors moving in perfect rhythm, and control systems humming with data. There's no moment when they pay a ship feels inactive. It's a constant dance of machines, humans, and purpose. Whether you're a military tech enthusiast, an engineering fanatic, or just someone fascinated by machines of scale, the 2025 aircraft carrier is a floating monument to what human engineering and determination can accomplish. It's the definition of force projection, and it commands attention wherever it goes. 
that's it for this detailed review of the 2025 US Navy aircraft carriers, their interior, their performance and their massive price tags. If you enjoyed this deep dive into something beyond cars and trucks, make sure to like, subscribe and let us know what other giant machines you'd like to see next. This is Automotive Reviews TV and we cover power in all its forms.